Today I want to touch base with you. You know, we're getting ready to come into hot tub season, and I love a hot tub. There's nothing better than a hot tub, but there's a few key safety things that we have to watch out for when we're in a hot tub. First off, make sure that you've installed it professionally or had a professional install it. It is super important. Anytime you have people immersed in water, you have to make sure that it's done at a super professional level, everything's inspected, and that you're safe. The biggest thing that I want to talk about today is, um, and this is probably the most important thing, and I hope you learn a little bit today too, is that not every hot tub requires four wires. There are some hot tubs that only require two hots and a ground. So you do not have to have the four wires going to the hot tub. But you have to watch out for this. So what we're going to be talking about today is where this GFCI is located. So your hot tub may only call for two hots and a ground. Okay, it still has to be GFCI protected. But even though your hot tub only calls for two hots and a ground, wherever this breaker is located, you have to have a neutral. Okay, so um, if you decide to put this inside the house and there's a neutral there inside the house, you know, say it's the main electrical panel and you want to put the ground fault breaker inside and then just put a regular breaker outside, you know, for your uh, localized disconnect, that's okay. So, you, you know, you install this here. You land this, I have a, a positive neutral, and I land this here, and then I could only, if I wanted to, if mine only calls for two wires, I could then run two wires out to the disconnect along with an equipment ground. If I want to put this outside at the hot tub, and my hot tub only calls for two wires, I still have to bring four wires to that disconnect. Wherever this GFCI breaker lands, I have to have four wires. This has to have a neutral path home that is separated from the grounds. And so we don't have any objectional current flowing on any and all paths back, all metal components, or potentially on you in the hot tub. So just to make it short and sweet today, the number one thing that I want you guys to get is that you have to have your hot tub professionally installed. It must be GFCI protected. And wherever this GFCI breaker lands, you have to have four wires. You have to have a neutral wherever this thing's landed. I just want you guys to be safe. I'm so thankful that I get to be a part of your journey, and I want our journey to be a long one. And we can't have anybody in a hot tub that's not safe with all of the information that we have nowadays, especially with YouTube. And I'm thankful that I get to be a part of it. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you ever need me, you can just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.